So welcome back to the channel. We're here to talk about money and how to make money and how to make money work for you. If it's one thing I like to do is to talk about money and how to make money. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about just the nitty gritty, the bigger things that you need to know in terms of making money. So I'm gonna tell you the five things that you need to know or you need to do if you want to make money. So number one, you have to develop a mindset, right? You have to develop a mindset. For us, we stress the growth mindset. And what this means is, one, you have to be able to imagine yourself wealthy, right? Do you think you have what it takes to be wealthy? Because you have to first start to perceive what it is that you want to do or what you want to be. And so if you can at least see that, right, then you can work towards that. And in you developing a mindset of determining, yes, I can be wealthy, then you will also set goals that you will aim to accomplish. And we'll talk about goals and the type of goals that you need to set in another video. But the first thing you want to think about is your mindset. Now, next thing, well, once you've developed this mindset to say, okay, you've developed and mustered up the courage to say, I can be wealthy, I can be a millionaire, I can be a billionaire, I have what it takes. Well, you need to be disciplined. Discipline is what really sets billionaires apart from the rest. And so this means, well, for the most part, one of the things we have to do is delayed gratification. You can't buy yourself something every time you hit a milestone or you can't go splurge or go out with your friends and do all of that if your aim or your focus is wealth, right? And so it's important that you exercise discipline in how you spend your money, right? And this goes back to budgeting. You will definitely need to know how to budget and this will help you to be disciplined right and so setting a budget it doesn't have to be a strenuous budget but really looking at your money flow as it goes in right and as it comes out right or as it comes in or as it goes out you want to look at that flow to see well where's your money going where are you spending it how you can cut it right because at the end of the day what you want to do is really be living below the amount of money you make so if you make a hundred dollars per month you do not want to spend a hundred dollars per month it would be ideal if you are able to live off maybe 80 percent only 80 dollars or $60, I mean, for everyone it's gonna be different, but it's gonna be important that you're living below your means. That is how you will get to wealth, right? Also, knowledge. Oh my goodness, this, is, this, this needs a video by itself, knowledge. I'm currently on a deep dive venture about wealth um, because you know there are many billionaires out here who are sharing a lot of wealth of knowledge see that pun there a lot of wealth of knowledge because your brain is the biggest investment you will make it's the biggest investment you have really and so how do you grow it you have to feed your brain things that you need to be wealthy and that is how to be wealthy how to invest how to make your money work for you, right? So you have to really invest, whether it is uh, professional development, workshops, different classes, and stuff like that. And now, of course, you have to do screening and stuff like that to really determine, right, who or what, you know, workshops you want to go to. But you will definitely need to learn this stuff. And one of my passion is teaching financial literacy because I am a professor of math and I have, I'm also a CEO and founder of a tutoring company. We tutor fourth grade through college students and nowhere in the curriculum. So fourth grade, and I also do pre-K through, so I do pre-K through college and nowhere in the curriculum for math or they're trying to put it in now, right? But there is no content on financial literacy. This is intentional. Granted, I'm not gonna dive into that. That's another video at another time. This is intentional, right? To keep uh, most or the majority as an employee. And so if you wanna get out of that rat race, you have to deep dive into learning how money works, how you can make money work for you. So knowledge is gonna be a big piece um, and I would advise you, like I'm doing, I would say you want to study millionaires and billionaires if that's your aim. If that's where you want to go, you study the people who are in the positions that you want to go to.
right? So knowledge is going to be very important, whether it's reading a book, watching videos on YouTube. I do audiobooks. Um, you know, I'm finishing up a few right now. I can drop the list of my books. I, you know, I've read the whole Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm reading this book, Offers, very good by Alex. Um, and, you know, I'm doing a deep dive, right? Because, you know, the end game is definitely wealth. So you want to make sure that you're feeding your mind things so that you can learn different strategies on how to invest and how to, you see how long I'm staying on knowledge, right? It's very, um, very, very, very important. Another thing to keep in mind as it relates to being wealthy is patience. Now, a lot of us, we are really programmed in such a way that we we want to get rich quick. Come on, I am going to be on <laughs> Who doesn't want to get rich overnight? Just wake up money all in your bank account, right? But that is not it. That is not it. And any millionaire or billionaire will tell you that. It takes grit. It takes time, right? It takes time for your money to mature over to millions and billions of dollars. Now, I'm not going to say that you might not get a business deal or you know get a different offer and those type of things but to lead up to that you will have to be patient so patient is going to patience is going to be a very important piece as it relates to wealth right so you have to really that's why you have to develop that mindset you have to develop that mindset where we go back to number 1 because you have to first and that discipline I mean, everything goes hand in hand, that mindset, that discipline. And if you're knowledgeable, you'll know that you'll have to exercise patience because when you invest, and that's the next thing we're going to go to, or when you're trying to make your money, make money for you, you will have to exercise patience to see it grow over time, right? And also when you're doing different types of things to make money, right? As I go into the fifth thing, you have to do investments. A lot of us, the baby boomers, they raised us. And it depends on your age, right? But some of us were raised by the baby boomers or we got advice from the baby boomers. No shade to the baby boomers. But the baby boomers, they grew up in a different time than us, right? And so currently, we are in a time where inflation is on the rise. And so we were taught, or initially I was taught, I need to save my money, well, sometimes they tell you under your mattress, but now they say you save it in your bank account. No, you can't save your money in your bank account because as many may know, the bank is using your money to make more money while they give you less than 1% return on your money. And so I would not advise anyone to save in a bank account, okay? And this might be on, you know, popular opinion, but I don't. I would definitely suggest that if you are saving, and I do agree, I think it is very important that you have an emergency fund, right? But if you have an emergency fund or if you are in fact saving your emergency fund, you need to save that money in a high yield saving account. You can Google or see a lot of federal banks um, a lot of different um, corporations are doing this. I know Apple has it, Ally does it. I believe Chase has one, um, Navy Federal. You really can look and see these banks are giving you 5%, 4%, 6% back on your money. That's like if you're investing in a stock market. You don't even have to learn the stocks, right? And so, you know, that's the plain it's safe stuff. And so if I go back to the part where I say invest in, right, you have to invest, save in a loan. Gone are the days that we're just saving our money in the banks getting 1% or less than 1%, 0.0001%, right? Gone are the days, hopefully, for those of you especially who are watching this video, if you have your money just sitting in a bank account, I cannot stress this. <laughs> if you have your money sitting in a bank account and you're not making 5% or close to that, Take it out and go open a high yield savings account, okay? But to my initial point, you have to invest in order to become wealthy. If you keep your money in the bank account, it will stay there. And you will try to save. You will never make it to a million dollars. Never. Especially if you're working a W-2 job right? You will never make it to a million dollars just saving. You have to invest. How? Well, 
you can do many types of investments. You can do the stock market, you can do real estate, you can do entrepreneurship, you can acquire different businesses. There are many ways that you really can do investing, right? And these are the top ones that I'm naming here, right? The stock market, real estate, acquiring companies, and stuff of that nature, right? But that's the only way you really can be wealthy. You have to invest. And this is why if you have no idea how to invest, my channel here, I am going to talk a lot about these things because like I said, if somebody were to ask me what do I want to do for free is to talk about making money, helping people how to make money. This is like a deep passion of mine. And so if you stick around in this channel, we will be talking about finance, money, how to invest, all that good stuff. Um, we talk a lot about this in our book, A Toolkit for Raising Wealthy Kids, right? And so I'm probably gonna just go through the book initially, but I'm also reading other books. And so as I read the books, I'll come on here and I'll share nuggets. Some of the stuff that we are, what, I, what I'm reading, well, I'm really listening to an audiobook, but you know, audiobooks are my thing. But the things that I'm listening to or reading and you know, um, I've never heard them before, right? Because they're not taught to us. Right, Most of us are taught by our parents or our grandparents and chances are they may not be millionaires or billionaires. And so we're listening to non-millionaires and billionaires on what to do with our money. We don't see it in school. We go to school for all these different things. I have a PhD, so I can tell you, I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a PhD in mathematics. And we did not see anything about finance in there, right? And so, you know, if we want to learn about how money works, how we can make money work for us, then we have to have to invest in the knowledge. So the top five things, let me see if I can remember them. Your mindset needs to be shifted. Yes, I can be wealthy. Um, yes, I will make mistakes, right? But I'm on a journey to be wealthy and I'm learning from those mistakes. So we talk about getting a growth mindset where you see your mistakes as stepping stones to become wealthy. You have to exercise discipline with your money. That is how you can live below your means so that you can invest the rest, right? Um, talk about budgeting, right? So that's where all your discipline comes in. You have to be able to know what's coming in, where your money is going so that you can know what you can afford to invest. Of course, you have to be knowledgeable. Listen, if you don't know anything else, you better learn how to make your money make money for you. And you got to do a deep dive, okay? You have to be knowledgeable because the things that we were taught were wrong. They were wrong. And in order for us to make a dent from getting out of the rat race, I don't know about you, but I'm not staying in it. And so if you want to get out with me, stay tuned, okay? You have to be knowledgeable. You have to invest. You have to invest. And you have to, have to, have to exercise patience. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up or like the video. But if not, you know, we'll see you in the next one. But be sure to stay tuned on this channel because we will be sharing a lot about how to invest, how to get wealthy, how to make your money, make money for you, because that is really what life is about.